bacon, scrambled eggs, and cinnamon roll action for brunch today. So today, Chris and I are going to be putting up the Mirror Mate frame to frame our bathroom mirror, and it's super easy to do. Um, I will list all the information down below as to which wood we picked for our frame, and this one is definitely one of the more farmhouse, rustic-looking frames. It is like a gray wood, and then as you can see, it just has these sticky tapes on there. Holly, don't you dare bite that. I will kick your booty. No, baby. <laughs> it has these sticky tapes, very strong tape though that will hold it up. And then there's also some brackets, but um, the instructions don't seem too overly complicated. So I'm just unwrapping all of the pieces right now. They had it really nicely bubble wrapped and packaged. So we are actually gonna go and lay this down outside. Chris is putting something down on the floor, um, but we have laid, laid it down back side up. So front side down. And you can see where the tape is located. So in, oh, Holly, by the way, babies. In each of the corner, you can see there are these little areas for the pegs to be put into. So there's these little inserts here that are going to be put into there. So first we're going to put the glue into each of the corners here. Stick those together. And then put the little notches, these little white notches, in the little sections here and hammer them down. So that's step one, and we're gonna do that outside in the garage, and I'll show you guys. So when I made my order on their website, of course you have to pick your product name, so mine is the Cherokee Old Vermont Gray, and then you need to put in certain measurements, so obviously you're gonna to need to measure the height and width um, and depth of your mirror so they can make sure to make the exact measurements to your mirror, so that was step one. the excess glue with a, a damp rag. So we waited um, a little more than 30 minutes to make sure the glue set and everything's ready to go. So Chris is now putting it into place. So we have like a little bit of granite that goes on the top here. What did they call that, babe? The backsplash. The, a backsplash piece. So because of that, we're just going to be setting our frame on top of that and the little strips on the bottom, Chris is going to remove those and stick it and align it into place. And then we'll hold it in place once it's all lined up and ready to go. Put it in and that groove here. Oh, I'll go around the sides so they can see the groove. It's in the groove here. It'll fit over the tabs here. If you have larger ones, they give you brackets to replace it, but ours are not the large ones, so they actually fit in. Yeah. And then... Just and we'll just there. go flush like that. All right, it's all the way installed now, looking good. I'll show you a before and after picture in a second here. All right, um, just really natural makeup today. And I just am wearing a hat because my hair is a mess. Casual date night out tonight with Chris. I have this shirt on from Abercrombie that I got a long time ago. And the jeans that I love from Walmart. Um, so yeah, we're doing a just a little date night out Sunday night. We're going to go to the Alamo Theater. It's the one where you can eat and watch a movie. So we're going to do dinner there too. We're actually using a gift card that we got two Christmases ago before COVID hit, so they're finally back up and running, so we're really excited to go. So dropped off Harley, and we went and actually saw a movie. I think I told you guys we went to Mortal Kombat, and it was actually really good, a little gory, but it was good. Um, but I feel very blessed right now, because my mom brought us home some yummy produce from Santa Maria, California, because that's where they were at. Um, these lemons are huge. Look how big. Insane how big these are. These actually came off my cousin, my great cousin's tree. So she gave us some of her fresh lemons and these are avocados from her yard too. So we're gonna let those ripen up. 
and then they gave, gave me some strawberries, and then these are my Aunt Terry's lemon bars. And I think I told you guys that every Easter she used to make these or on special occasions, and no one can top her lemon bars. They're so good. The girls are eating. They just <laughs> got fed. But anyways, I had to share that with you because I was feeling very, very happy and blessed today. Good girl. Good girl. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday morning. I have the fan on in the background because it's going to be a warm um, one today. But today, it's time to get serious in the eating healthy game because for the last couple weeks, I, I don't wouldn't say I've been bad, but I haven't been good. I have not been good at all. And I can see some of my definition depleting um, my body like because I haven't been working out as hard as I was. Like I was doing at least three to four times a week. Sometimes it was almost every day. Like when I first started out working out, I was doing it like six times a week. And then it was like four to five times a week. Then it was three to four times a week. And then the last couple of weeks, I haven't been working out pretty much at all. Other than going for walks with the dogs and um, like playing with Holly like and Lucy, just like throwing the ball and stuff outside. Other than that, I haven't been doing any like traditional exercise. So... I hope, I was hoping that this will motivate you guys too. If I do just like a day in the life, what I do to like kind of kickstart getting ready to lose weight again and exercise and just like get back on track. I'm gonna drink lots of water today. I'm gonna have some liquid IVs. I'm gonna be using a lot of the products that I use all the time and it's not an advertisement. Yes, some of the products that I'm gonna be using for today's meals and stuff are um, companies that have sent me those products and that's why I love them now, like Built Bar, um, Revive, Liquid IV. Can't think of anything else I'm gonna use today other than those three companies that you might be like, this is an ad. These are products that I actually do use when I'm trying to be healthy and get fit and feel good. So let's get started. And I've got Holly with me here too. We're just playing with her toy. It's part of our morning routine that we play a little bit to get her energy out because she is hyper. I love her to pieces though. I don't care that she's hyper. I kind of love it. We play for hours a day when I'm home. Look at this. All right, who wants to go run in the grass? You wanna go run in the grass? Let's go, let's go run in the grass. So I'm also putting out some of my lemon and honeybee decor, starting to at least. You guys can kind of get a little sneak peek. And we have this going right in front of here so we can blast like the cool air from outside into the home because later it is going to be like 89 degrees. So I'm just trying to cool it off. Were you trying to bring your baby outside? Come on, peanuts. Yay, run in the grass, run in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay. Get her, Lucy, get her. Sometimes Lucy will run after her. I think she's got to go potty, though. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> okay, Google. What's the temperature in Queen Creek today? In Queen Creek today, expect a high of 78 and a low of 54. What? Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. We have some amazing weather today. You can have the doors open all day, nice. So I just put, took out um, a lean turkey meat from the freezer, put it in some warm water, gonna defrost that for dinner tonight. And then for my breakfast, and I say that loosely because I don't start eating until about one o'clock. I do intermittent fasting. So I'm pretty much gonna be drinking water all morning for my breakfast. But my first meal of the day is around one o'clock. And for that, I'm gonna have a smoothie because it's gonna be right after my workout. And I'm gonna do these Revive Superfood smoothies. I'm gonna do the Strawberry Zen. Um, it's zero added sugars. It's plant-based, dairy-free, gluten-free. So you just have everything in here that's ready to blend up. I already have my Vitamix over there ready to go. Um, so you just put this in there with whatever liquid you choose. So you can use water, almond milk. Like I'm going to use unsweetened almond milk. Or you can use coconut milk or pretty much anything. Um, just so that it blends up really nice. And they're delicious. I've had a couple of them. 
like I said, I'm gonna have the strawberry Zen, um, but they have a ton of different flavors. I haven't tried this one yet, but the Pina Lada sounds really good. Their Pink Dragon is really um, popular. Here are the ingredients in it. And here's the ingredients in the one I'm gonna have today. And then even though I do have my hydro flask ready to go for the day, I'm also going to use one of these um, water bottles here because I'm going to use a liquid IV and put that in this water bottle. I use um, like packets like this in my hydro flask too for my water, but today since I drink so or had so much salt content yesterday, I want to drink a lot of just pure water. But anyway, the liquid IV actually helps to hydrate you quicker. Um, it's a hydration multiplier, as you see, but it also has a lot of different vitamins and minerals, too, to get your day kick-started. Um, so, yeah, and it's really low calorie. I think it's less than 50 calories, or it is 50. Let's see, 45 calories for this. So I'm going to drink an entire bottle of this before I start my workout, and then I'll show you guys the bike that I found off of OffRup that is in perfect condition. I'm so happy to use so it. I'm doing my laser cap treatment. This is the iRestore laser hair growth. Um, so smile and it looks crazy, but I'm, I have to do 25 minutes of that. I'm just going to do some emails while I'm doing this treatment, finish my liquid IV water, and then I'm going to get started on my workout. So this is my bike. It's a sunny bike. Um, I'll have it linked down below because they have a couple different varieties and this one is like the more, a little bit more elevated than another one. But so usually it comes with something that kind of sticks in here to monitor everything. And that's the one thing that mine does not have. So I do need to get something like that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be using the Peloton app, which I don't have it up yet, but I'll show you once it's up. What a beautiful picture that is. Um, but, or I could put like, you know, my iPad over here, a book or whatever, but I'm going to be using streaming it to my TV to do a workout with the Peloton app. And it's a month, a month free trial. And then after that, I believe it's $12.99 a month. So I'll show you guys once I start getting into the groove. So I'm about to start this 20 minute to beginner ride. Cause I really haven't been doing a lot of cycling ever. <laughs> so I think I'm going to really like it. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do like a core strength training one too. So I'll see you after. We got to get the negative out and bring in that positive. Alright guys, first ride on the bike, done. And I actually really liked it. So I can't wait to, to, to do some more and try some more of the Peloton workouts. Um, I'm going to get a nice stretch in and then off to make my smoothie. Still drinking more water, and I'm going to have um, just a little snack. So I have a string cheese. This is the string cheese I have, and these are the calories. So I'm just going to have one stick of um, mozzarella string cheese, and I'm going to wrap a piece of turkey and um, a pepperoni or two around it. So for some extra protein, and it will fill me up, and the dogs are waiting for their pepperoni. Huh? You want some too? Good girls. Next, I'm gonna cut up these beautiful strawberries that my mom brought back from Santa Maria. She was there over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash these beauties and cut them up so Chris and I have some beautiful strawberries to have for dessert and maybe even for our lunches tomorrow. Mama B and I are taking a little trip to Hobby Lobby today and look how many cute things they have for like Memorial Day and 4th of July. I love these pillows. What? I like these jars. Oh, they are cute. They have so many cute things. Little straws. I thought these were adorable little watermelon freeze pops. Mom, did you see the little rolling pins for the tear tray? USA and America. Look at these plates. What? Cute. <laughs> uh -oh, there's so like many that. things. Here you go for the tray. What? Oh, cute. Yeah. Little trucks. Oh, look at the galvanized ones have the, the stars cut out on them. I have ones like this that are just plain though. But those are cute. Look at these for the party. Mama B found these for the tear tray. They're really cute too. Sure they are, Melissa. Oh yeah, I saw those in the front. 
I think I like, oh, there's three of them. Cute. I love these trucks. I'm definitely getting one of the trucks. See, they have like the stripes on them. Here's a baby one for the tear tray. It is cute. Oh no, too many cute things. I got one of these last year. And I love these signs. But I'm gonna wait till they're 40% off because they're not yet. These are nice. Hmm? There's a Mickey one. Liberty. Oh, hello, friends. Freedom. Oh, cute. Look. What are you selling me? A freedom. Cute. One. They have way more than they did last year. And actually, way I like more those America Pride. I love it. Oh, I love these. They have the cute looking stacked books with a flag on the top. Love that. And then they have the smaller ones here. Vlogging. And then they have a ton of cute signs. I love this one that says, shake your sparklers. If you need any kind of canister right now, they have some beautiful ones here. There's so many here different list. kinds. Here you go, Liz. What, what you found? Oh, a tablecloth. And it's very long. Yeah, that's pretty. Only I'll one take left. it. <laughs> but I love these. They have wood lids in their glass. For dinner, I always eat a little more at dinner. So we've got a nice helping of grilled chicken with rosemary and lemon, and then some medley rice with some vegetables in that. And then also a um, another medley of vegetables. This is green beans, asparagus, carrots, and corn. And Chris has his as well. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm so hungry right now. Holly is definitely not happy with me this morning. She didn't get her breakfast or a bone. And she's been jumping on me like, what the heck, mom? But she is getting spayed today. I'm so nervous about it. I'm watching a Jersey Housewives still and do my makeup. Poor baby. I feel so bad for her. She's out of her surgery. She's not happy. She keeps rolling over on her back because she I think she wants me to like scratch around her incision or something. And or she's trying to show me, Mom, look what they did. <laughs> Poor thing. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. So I got Holly this donut off of Amazon. As you can see, it kind of has like a sock texture that goes around their neck. Oh, sorry, honey, I scared you, honey. It's okay, honey. I'm so tired. Anyways, this is really nice. If you have a puppy or your dog needs surgery and you don't want to have that horrible plastic around their neck that is just so harsh on their neck and it hurts them, it has to be uncomfortable. So this one's super soft and also eliminates her getting to her incision areas. Peanut, right, honey? My poor baby. She's doing better, though, than yesterday. My heart just, like, hurts seeing her in pain, though. But she's doing better. You're doing better, right, honey? She just wants to be next to mommy all day. Chris stayed home. Um, well, he worked from home today. And then tomorrow I have off to be with her. And then my mom's going to be with her on Friday. And I think by the weekend she should be good. <laughs> Who else is excited for Handmaid's Tale coming back? Today I'm home with Holly, and just for the most part she was doing okay, but now she keeps trying to hide, hide when she has discomfort, my baby. Oh, see, she keeps trying to hide. It's okay, baby. Mommy loves you. I got you, Go sons! What the f Are you vlogging me right now? Yep. Same. Not appropriate. Why? Because.
Why are you walking? This is what you do. Looks good. Hopefully. Ooh, going to the playoffs. That was a really good game. Zoe already knows tricks. Okay, ready? Pa, good girl. Down, good girl. So unfortunately, I lost some of the voice on this footage, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the lemon decor that I've been putting out. I'm of course gonna be doing a whole separate video on my spring summer decor that is lemons and bees. I incorporated it through the kitchen and family and dining room. So I'll be showing that to you guys soon. Just giving you a little sneak peek here. This was day three of Holly's recovery, and she was doing so much better. She wanted to go outside and run in the grass with Lucy, so that's why they were sitting there waiting for me to open the door for them. But she can't run like crazy or jump, so it was really hard to um, you know, keep her indoors, but I was happy she was feeling better, and that's me knocking on wood um, in that regard. But then I got a few items off of Amazon, these are the TikTok leggings that are super popular on TikTok. They're supposed to really like sculpt your booty and make you look bootylicious. So I'm warning you right now, if you don't want to see the outline of my butt or how these look on me, you might want to skip a few seconds here because I'm showing them off here. I'm talking about how the texture of the pants really hides in any cellulite. It really sucks you in, but it is very, very, very accenting on the butt. And Chris doesn't mind so much, but I don't think I will wear those in public, but in the house, it's fine. And when I'm exercising. So these are also a few more items I got off Amazon. These lemon slices were really inexpensive and you get a pack of 12 of them. They're plastic, but they look really cute in the tiered tray here. And I did put a few of them also in the hutch around some of the canisters. And I think that it turned out really cute. I'm really loving the mint and yellow decor right now in the house. It just makes it so full of life and cheery. And I don't know, just brightens it up so much. I'm also talking about how some of the canisters are turned around because I really like that style I had seen on Instagram. Um, someone do that in their hutch. And the words sometimes get a little busy when you have like all the words jumbled together with the Ray Dunn canister. So I thought I'd try out a little bit different of a style, incorporate some other pieces that aren't Ray Dunn as well in my hutch. And um, I was having a lot of fun trying to get that all together. So that's what I'm talking about here. And the last item that I purchased recently were these adorable, dainty butterfly earrings. I got a pair for my mom for Mother's Day and one for myself because it actually has more meaning behind it. Um, with Mother's Day coming up, of course, my mom's going to be missing my grandma tremendously as I also am missing her. And she always told us that she would come back as a butterfly to us because, um, of course, she had cancer. So she knew that she would be leaving us at some point and always made a point to talk about butterflies and um so they always have meaning a little bit more meaning for my mom and I so I wanted her to be able to have a special present that meant more than you know just a little something for her but also had meaning behind it so I hope that she loves them they're a little smaller than I thought they would be but I think they're really sweet and dainty and well the sentiment behind it will be something that she'll love um, also, I picked up these biker shorts off of Amazon. My good friend Aubrey told me about these. She had posted about them on Instagram and said that they were very comparable to higher end like Lululemon Athleta um, shorts and they feel really good. So I have high hopes for those. And as you can see, Holly was still persistently waiting to go outside and play. Mama B and I are now at Joanne's looking at all the florals. She's on a mission to find certain ones. Yeah, those are pretty. I'm not doing purple right now, though. I'm doing like a baby blue and yellow. That's why this would be good. That's purple, lady. It's purpley blue. It's pretty though. I got some like this that are yellow in my in I the think card I over there. Some. Yay! Success. These ones. Aren't they so cute? There's They're gonna more. be around for around the count canisters and stuff. Found oh more. boy, success! Good job, mom. But anyway, all the florals are 50% off today, so that's why we're here. If you have a beachy looking house, these things are so cute and they're 50% off right now for the weekend, I think. Look how cute. Ooh. 
Look at these doggy things. Oh my goodness. Those are like the, their clothing. So cute. I love the hot dog. What are these? Tails and noses. Is that a cat toy or what is that? Oh. It's so tiny. Little collars, but then look at these. Barbecue sauce, steak, cute bones, a hamburger, and a hot dog. All right, it's going down. They're 40% off, so I'm getting my baby's new toys. We are looking at adorable model homes. I'll show you the outsides later, but they look super country and cute. They got a little swing on the outside. We're just getting design ideas. All right, come take a look at with us. Oh, I like these planters. <laughs> getting design ideas. Is this like a key touch one? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Baby's room is adorable. Really nice oh, look, open floor plan. It's got the beadboard that we like. Yeah. Super country. Wow, this is pretty nice. Let's get my mask. It's got a here. den here. And then Decent size, too. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys the whole entire home. Because I want to be able to look, but nice high ceilings. Another room here. I'll show you the kitchen in a second. So they have the same kind of flooring I have, but a different color scape, but it's actually tile that looks like wood. And then they have this beadboard all along. It's like a big open floor plan. Look at this kitchen. I love the cabinets on the top like that. So pretty. And they've got a pantry and then the fridge on this side kind of tucked away, which I really like. Look at this big open entryway there. Yeah, it's super pretty. I love the kitchen. I like the farmhouse sink. Oh, they have a farmhouse sink. Those are my favorite. I love that. Yeah, very cute. Look at the, um, oops, I didn't mean to zoom in, sorry. <laughs> they brought the tile outside, Mom. Yeah, you can do that. Oh my gosh, I want to do that. You do? Looks so good, it makes the house look like Bigger. it's flowing out, yeah. And then they have a pool with, like, I like that. I like how they did this gate, too. Use that kind of stuff for a gate. You're Holly, you get under there like nothing. True, but look, they used plants to kind of cover it, but she yeah. would get around it. Pretty backyard, though, Very cute nice. little yard. All right, let's see what the master looks this like. This is where you're at. Yeah, this, I know. Someday we're gonna update, <laughs> upgrade our door to do this. This is so sick, it goes all the way in. So it's all the way open. That's why they pulled the let's tile all the way out. For you, oh, it's so cool. Oh, very easy to slide. Yeah, be careful. There's two different ones. <laughs> There's two different ones, yeah. There's a bigger one. So you can have it half open, yeah. There you go. Pretty laundry room. I actually really like the black cabinets. What do you guys think? Against the white? That's the garage. Oh, the master's down here. Did you see the master already, Mom? Yeah. Oh, they have that sliding door that I really want to do. I'm going to do this in our um, guest room, I, I think. I do that in my bedroom. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love that. I just need to do beadboard like in the entire house because <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so country. Yeah. A nice big closet. It's a shared closet though. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but it's big. We're going into the Savannah farmhouse and this one's so freaking cute. It's a two story. Oh God, I already die over the flooring. And I love the mint color it is. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't like the banister, I've changed that. I think it's kind of cool. Is that, it's an industrial mix farmhouse. Here's their beautiful kitchen. If you notice, Missy, they don't have a separate dining room. Yeah, you're right.
look at this shower. The tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. It looks so good. Now we're coming up to a, another one-story adorable house. Hamden Contemporary Farmhouse. Yeah, that's a lot of square feet still. Oh, I love the red door though. Not in that style, but I like red doors. They have a little casita area too, it looks like. So I forgot to film the entrance. It's a little wide to me. It's amazing and open, but I just feel like it's wasted space. And I don't like the styling. It's a little more modern, but some of you might like it. So I'm gonna show you. <laughs> wow, the, the built-ins and every, and the beams in this house are absolutely beautiful, though I really want beams like this someday. What? I'm going to come show you. Show um, them also. Furniture. What are you totally doing? Oh. That's nice. So I thought I would quickly share with you guys um, the few things I got at Joann's. I did already start putting some things together, so I realized I didn't really show you guys yet. So these towels I actually found at Home Goods and my mom. My mom and I split them. So there were three sets of two. Two sets of blue, two sets of red, and two sets of this, like more, you know, stars and stripes. So these are going to be for Memorial Day and... 4th of July later when I redecorate. I think it's Memorial Day. I think it's going to be too soon for me to change out stuff. So it'll probably be closer to 4th of July when I start doing that. So I found this ribbon at Joann's and it has the pretty mint accent. The pink is what I'm not so sure about because I don't really have any pink accents anywhere, but I was thinking about putting this around the jar lids. But I also have these two ribbons and when I get my wreaths in I will let you guys see that probably next week they'll be in and I'm going to use both of these ribbons or one of these ribbons around the wreaths like in a bow fashion so I'll show you later once um I have those up but that's what these are for and then these were all 50% off and I got a lot of these for under a dollar even um so I got a lot of little pieces that I'm going to Put around the house. I really love these. They look like little wildflowers. And I love these. Obviously, I like them all or I wouldn't have purchased them. I got some of these. And these. A lot of these I can use all year round, which I like. Um, but the yellow ones, of course, are specific for right now. So you guys will see in a video how I use these soon. All right, who's extra spoiled today? because you were a big girl and did a good job this week. Okay, don't jump though. Don't jump, I'm sorry. Okay, which one do you like better? Hamburger? I have a feeling that she's gonna like one more than the other, let's see. <gasps> What's that, is that a toy for Holly? Is that a toy? One of them is Lucy, so pick which one you like. Oh, old hamburger? Good girl.